What is going on everyone? Hope all of you guys are doing well. So today we're going to be taking a closer look at Dracula Dead and Loving It, one of my favorite spoof films. And the very interesting thing about this movie is that it's a Mel Brooks film, but it wasn't part of the collection that came out years ago on DVD and Blu-ray. So yeah, I found it pretty interesting, but let's go ahead and take a closer look. Uh, Mel Brooks is one of my favorite directors. I just love the comedy spoofs that he does. You know, he doesn't, they, they're not, what's the better term I'm looking for? They don't take them, um, you know, uh, seriously. Um, they just, you know, kind of go with the flow. And I like it. I think it works. I know we're supposed to be getting a Spaceballs 2 pretty soon. Uh, here's the disc, single disc release. And no reversible artwork, but we do get interior artwork, as you guys can see. Um, this one I was able to get uh, for a good price. Um, but special feature wise, we get Mel and his movies Dracula Dead and Loving It, The Making of Dracula Dead and Loving It, audio commentary with the director and co writer Mel Brooks, actor Steven Weber and Amy Yazbek, and co writers Rudy DeLuca and Steve, what is that? Steve Haberman. Theatrical trailer and TV spot. So, not too bad. A couple featurettes here and there. Um, it has a runtime of 90 minutes and was released in 1995. So, it marks its 30th anniversary next year. And it's got a great cast. Um, you have Amy Yazbek, uh, who, you know, was in Robin Hood Men in Tights. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the names, but uh, I do know that the guy from Wings, he was in the Eye Zombie, he's in this. Uh, you have um, the guy from Ghostbusters, Porky's, and, and um, what was it? Alec McBeal was another one. Um, so yeah, you got a great cast, and it's pretty much spoofing Dracula. That's pretty much the whole concept. But it's over the top in a really good way. Um, I don't think it takes away from that. Um, yeah, it's pretty entertaining. I, I like I said, Mo Brooks has his com. You know, his spoof films are really done well. You know, you you look at the spoof films that have come out like what two thousand between two thousand seven and two thousand nine just awful and of course they were trying to spoof all the stuff that was coming out pop culture stuff and things like that where you know you go back to the formula where you're spoofing movies um it works better i mean look at scary movie one and two as a prime example you know top secret airplane you know a lot of the earlier stuff including including Mo Brooks's uh, work. Um, but yeah, it was just interesting to find out that this movie was never really part of the Blu-ray box set. And I don't think that Blu-ray or DVD box set actually is fully complete. I think there might be a few more, or maybe there might be a few more films um, that Mel Brooks has done that hasn't been part of that box. But I could be wrong. Um... I know there's a movie that Mel Brooks did, just him. I don't even think it's a spoof movie. But, um, yeah, he's one of my favorite, uh, like I say, he's one of my favorite directors. And I do want to eventually get some of the other titles that he has. As of right now, I've got this one. I've got Spaceballs. I've got the Kindle Warber release. Um, I've got uh, Blazing Saddles, which I know is coming out on 4K. And then I have... Um, uh, Young Frankenstein and Robin Hood Men in Tights. So there's still a lot I need to get from him, but I have a decent, you know, a decent amount of films from him, a couple, you know, here and there. But nonetheless, um, wish I could say more, but uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to Mel Brooks. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my closer look at Dracula Dead and Loving It. And if you've seen the movie, I would love to hear your guys' opinion on it comment down below give this video a like subscribe to the channel i'm film talk with mike and until next time guys we'll talk films uh check out my ebay store link will be down in the description below so with that being said you guys take care and i will see you guys next time peace